Hi, my name is Laura from Readapt and welcome to this episode of Mounting Made Easy. Today we are going to show you how to assemble and adjust the Pentafloat Echo Floor Stand. This floor stand can hold devices with up to 3.5 kilograms or 7.7 pounds and features a floating arm and a small base with a counterweight. The device can be held at a maximum height of 165 centimeters or 65 inches, which makes the Pentafloat Echo the perfect solution for positioning communication devices over hospital beds, especially if there is not much space in the room. This floor stand rolls on five casters with brakes. The vertical column sits in the central node and holds a very flexible float arm, which can rotate in the top part of the column and features several rotation points. The float arm rotates freely and allows you to adjust the height of the device within a range of 40 centimeters or 16 inches. So let's get started. The floor stand is typically shipped in two packages, which we've already unpacked. Here are all the parts and tools included. Take the chassis, turn it upside down and place it on a soft surface, like a carpet or a floor mat. The counterweight ensures the stability of the floor stand to make sure it cannot tip over easily. Never use this floor stand without the counterweight attached to the chassis. Attach the five casters by pushing them into the openings with a little force until they pop into place. Turn the chassis around and make sure it does not wobble. If it does, double check the connection of the casters. If one of the casters later becomes dysfunctional, contact Readapt for replacement parts. To continue with the next steps, please fasten the brakes. Next, we will assemble the column. When inserting, make sure the hole of the column matches with the pin in the central node of the chassis. Additionally, upon delivery, there is a red-green indicator to check if the column is inserted completely. Finally, fasten the bolt on the node using the Readapt T-handle. Now we'll attach the float arm. Here is a sleeve bearing that allows for a smooth rotation of the float arm. Never use the float arm without the sleeve bearing nor if it is damaged. In case this part wears out, contact us to receive a replacement. Now. Slide the float arm into the socket and make sure it rotates smoothly. Last but not least, we connect the UDS to the tube on the movable end of the float arm. Never attach anything but the UDS to the end of the float arm. Extending its length may cause the floor stand to tilt. Use the quick shift lever to adjust the front part of the UDS and the Pentafloat Echo is ready to roll. Finally, we adjust the load capacity of the float arm to match with the weight of the device and enable the floating feature. Take the communication device and attach it to the UDS. Support the device until it is settled and you hear the distinctive click of the Readapt signature quick release system. You will need to find the point where the arm perfectly counterbalances the weight of the device to make it float. Position the arm horizontally and adjust the main bolt using an Allen wrench. Rotate clockwise if the arm is rising. Rotate counterclockwise if the arm is drifting downwards. Do not apply additional force to rotate the bolt beyond the stopping point. The adjustment is completed if the device floats in the air. In some cases, fine tuning is needed. This can be done by fastening the small adjustment screws on the hinges with a smaller Allen wrench. After the Pentafloat Echo is set up and adjusted, it is ready to be used. Loosen the brakes of the casters to move it around. 
adjust the height and orientation of the floating device in just a second and change the inclination and orientation of the device using the multiple degrees of freedom of the UDS. To find out more about the usage of the UDS, check out the info card for our previous video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mounting Made Easy and understood how simple it is to assemble and adjust the Pentafloat Echo Floor Stand. If you have any questions or suggestions, just leave us a comment down below. I'm Lara from Rayadapt and until next time, bye!